Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm very excited to share with you that Estimates is live now. You can now send estimates straight from the payments tab in order to reduce back and forth questions and it's just a lot more clear and transparent and it looks a lot more professional as well to your prospects. So let's go ahead and let's set up an estimate together. All right, first we want to click on payments on the left, then hover over the invoices and estimates tab at the top. And here you can see estimates. Click on that and you will see exactly this screen. Now let's create an estimate together, which you can share with your clients before creating the final invoice. So click on new estimate at the top right. All right, so here on the business and customer information, you wanna add your customer, select your customer and they will show up right here. If you accidentally made a mistake and you added the wrong person, you just click the three dots here. You can click on edit contact or clear contact and then add the right person. Here under business information, you can also edit your own business information. Click that pencil button. And right here, you can add any of your details. Click save. All right, now here at the right side, you can see who is it built to, and you can see your company name, you can see issue date, estimate number, the expiration date, all of that, okay? So now let's edit these settings, the estimate settings. Click on that little arrow here. Now we can change the estimate number. If it's your first estimate, definitely don't set number one. Maybe just say, 87 that always sounds really good issue date today's date expiration date can be probably the next day to just make it really clear that this is urgent all right so here on the right you can see the date has changed the issue date has changed as well as the expiration date then we can add a product click on that little arrow here click add product click the drop down menu select your product double check the price and the quantity you can change that manually as well Again, if you made a mistake, you can just click the bin icon here to delete it and then add the correct product again. If you click on the three dots right here, you can view the description or remove text. To remove the text, you would obviously have added the text here by clicking add text. Okay, let's say the VAT is 20%. Let's say yes, hit save. Or you can choose add text automatically. So this would be based on where the client is located. Okay, but let's keep it manually. Let's hit save. And here you see the 20% have been added. If you wanted to add the text automatically, you would just toggle this on right here and the system just does it for you. You can see this little information icon here is red because the system requires the contact's country, state and postal code. All right. So for the sake of this video, let's just turn that off and we're good to go. All right. On the right hand side, you can see the item has been added, the price, the quantity, no text right now and the subtotal. And next up, you can decide how frequent you would like to send an invoice if it's a recurring invoice. Let's say you're working on a retainer, your website designer, or you're maintaining, or you're even implementing SEO, for example. That's a good example. So SEO agencies charge a retainer per month in order to keep the website up to date to make sure the client's website ranks on top of any search engine. Then you could just turn on this toggle here. You can decide how often do you want to bill the client, monthly, yearly, weekly, daily, or you select your own date as well. I'll keep it on monthly now. That's fine. You can select your date every first of every month. That sounds good to me. Start date, let's say right now, in case they agree to the estimate, because then this can be turned into an invoice right away if they accept it. So they can accept or reject the estimate as well. Then it ends never or by this date or after this particular date. Let's say never in this case, until they cancel, of course. And last but not least, additional options right here. Of course, add your terms and conditions. You can here add your wordings or just hyperlink the terms and conditions page from your website, okay? After we've added our terms and conditions, we just hit save top right corner. Now here you can see the entire preview of everything what we just set up. And you can see here's another tab as well. It's called notes. If you click on that, you can see it's empty right now, but you could add some notes if you wanted them. So now let's send off this proposal just so I can show you how that looks like inside the client's email inbox. Let's click send. Now you can change the name of the estimate. Okay, let's call it SEO estimate. We can send it via email and text, via email or via text. And let's select email in this case. Then under additional options right here, you can test it. Okay, if it's not live, then we just want to test it and hit send. But if you're sure everything is fine, everything is okay, you can just keep it live and hit send. And this is it. This is how the email would look like. You can see the estimate number in the subject line right here. If you scroll down a little bit, it gives you a little insight on what's going on. Who we'll sent it, how much it is, and when it expires. You can just click on view estimate right here and ta-da, the estimate will be presented exactly like this to the prospect. Now at the top right hand corner, you can see reject estimate or accept estimate. So this is what the prospect can do immediately after they received your estimate. So let's say we wanted to accept the estimate, click on accept estimate. 
you will receive another notification, which is, hey, are you really sure you want to accept it? This action cannot be undone. Then you would just hit submit and you would accept the proposal. If you're not happy for some reason, or if your client is not happy for some reason, they just click reject estimate. Then they are able to leave a reason why they weren't happy. Maybe let's say price too high, and then we can click submit. They can click submit. And you see that later on the list as well, which I'll show you in a minute. You can see here, it has been declined in the top left corner. Now going back to the payments tab, payments and then estimates at the top. Remember, you can see here different tabs, all estimates, draft, send, accepted, declined or invoiced. You can see here the SEO estimate has been declined by the prospect. You can also filter through by date here and also by the state. So let's say declined at the top right here and it will show you also this particular estimate. Now, if you wanted more information about that estimate, you can just click on the actual quote name here and this window will pop up, which will show you the estimate details customer, created on, expiration date, status, and some notes if there were some, okay? Now, I've real quick created a second estimate to show you what else you can do because the client has declined this estimate. Um, the editor didn't open, so you click on the three dots right here and you click edit estimate here if you wanted to edit the estimate. For this, the status cannot be declined just yet. So let's click edit estimate. And if you wanted to change anything, you can just do that right here, okay? You yourself can also click three dots at the top right corner. You can copy the link, you can mark as accepted or delete the estimate from here. Now let's go and say we would accept that estimate. Click view estimate in the email they have received. And let's say accept estimate top right corner. Let's click submit. And you can see here, the label has been changed to accepted. Let's go back to payments and estimates and you can see here, the status has been changed to accepted. All right, I hope you like this new feature, estimates, which completes the whole business suit. So first you want to send an estimate, then you want to send a contract via documents and contracts, and then you want to send the invoice, which they of course can pay with one click of a button. I will see you in the next video.